friends, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today, as you saw in the title, we have a giant men's haul. I think this is going to be the biggest men's haul I've ever done so far. And this is only two days, sorry if you hear Audrey in the background. Uh, this is only two days of thrifting. I had planned on going to the bins again today, but um, I have IBS and that just was not in the cards for me today, which also makes me realize how, again, lucky I am that this is my job and I control my time and my schedule and what I do when I do it. So I decided to film this haul today instead of going to the bins. But like I said, this is two days. This is Monday and Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. And I'm going to show you all of the things that I thrifted to post myself. So I already separated out the things I got for Play-Dohs. On Monday, I got quite a few things for Play-Dohs. Yesterday, I did not get that much for Play-Dohs. And I spent, I think, a total of $120 um, between the two days. So let's get into it. So first thing I'm going to show you, this. Ultiplex Hair Perfector. If you know, you know this is a $30 hair conditioner. And it's brand new. I literally peeled the little like grippy sticker off of it that Amazon had put on there. And this was in the clothes. So I was so glad to find this. I've never, I've never actually tried this, but I'm very excited to. Next, I got this really cute wool beret and it has like daisies embroidered all over it. Thought it was really cute the tag looks like it's probably H&M or Zara there's no like brand but if I wanted to look the RN up I could really cute I don't really think the brand matters though next I got this Madewell pouch this is a leather monogrammed obviously zip top little pouch but I picked it up anyways because it's in such good shape it has like this little snap pocket in there and I still think someone will buy it even though this is on here. Also, fun fact, if you take rubbing alcohol, I believe. Oh, gosh. Rubbing alcohol or, or acetone? I think it's rubbing alcohol. You take rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip. You can at least get the gold foil off of here. It still would be, like, embossed, like printed in. You could still, like, feel the RGH, like, the these initials on here. But... You could get the gold foil to come off. I'm going to leave it and just sell it as is. Next, I got this. This is a cute little Wilfred bralette. Super cute gray lace. And here is the tag. Wilfred is an Aritzia brand. And it's a size small. Then I got this. This is a vintage, I would say 90s J. Crew fleece. And it's got a really fun corduroy. Um, collar. It is a extra large and it is made in the USA. So yeah, it's definitely a 90s J. Crew. Next, I got this North Face. I think this is a Denali fleece jacket or not jacket vest, but it has, where is it? What does that say? BC High Ski Team embroidered on it, but I don't think that really will matter. I think it's a men's extra large. And other than that embroidery, it's in really great shape. Yeah, men's extra large. Next, I got this. This is an absolutely adorable little girl's dress. I, when I saw it, I was like, oh gosh, this has to be something. Like, what? It, like, this little tassels on the back of this little, like, on your back lapel collars I don't know what you call that it's just so cute and then look at all these little characters that are on here the turtle <laughs> uh, and this is the brand and also I picked it up because it had this giant dry cleaning tag on I was like okay we're dry cleaning our our infants closed here's the brand and it's a size six months I actually found another one of these uh, this brand but it's got some major stains on it, but I picked it up anyway because this is like $100 baby clothes, which is wild to me. But like I said, this one has some major staining on it. So I'm going to throw this one in the wash and see if I can get at least some of them out a little bit more. But I think this is also a six month. Yeah, six months. So cute. Tara, if Miss Olivia is interested in either one of those, please let me know and I'll send them to you. Next, I got these. These are really cool. These are super Y2K 
vintage Target Mossimo little hot shorts with the zipper in the front. That, that's like the front right there. And I think they're nylon. Let me see. I hope they're nylon. Yes. Nylon and spandex. So cool. There's the vintage Mossimo logo on the pocket. Next, I got this. This is a really soft pack sweater. Just a nice knit, size extra small. Pretty sure it's organic cotton. Yeah, organic cotton. Super cute. Then I got this and I'm so glad I actually took the time to open it up and look at, to see what it was, number one, because I was like, okay, is this like a curtain or something? And then I was like, okay, no, it's a skirt. And I was like, okay, it's not gonna be like a branded skirt. Oh, it is, soft surroundings. So that's really nice, size medium like a maxi skirt really pretty yeah definitely a maxi skirt but I really love the detail on the bottom and it feels like a great summer skirt even though it's darker color because as you can tell it's kind of see-through yeah kind of see-through so it's really lightweight also before I forget I wanted to chat with you guys about my Hulkin bag I have been using my Hulkin now I would say what two weeks I think at the bins and I love it I feel like at first I was a little like clumsy with it because I don't usually I didn't usually carry anything around with me like I said I would just like hold all the clothes that I would find like this you know until it, it literally got like to here and I couldn't carry it anymore um, and I would dig with this hand and now I dig with both my hands and I'm sticking everything you know in my bag I tell you I I don't feel nearly as tired at the bins I used to feel so tired within like two hours my arms don't hurt anymore, my my wrists don't hurt anymore, my elbows don't hurt anymore, my shoulders don't hurt anymore. I would buy the Hulk in over and over again. Matter of fact, I got an email that they bought that they that Hulkin had done a collab with Beauty Blender. And they made this pink bag, and so of course I ordered it. But with all that being said, there Jack noticed um some of the red like foil, I'll put a clip in so you guys can see too. Um, some of the red foil on my Hulkin bag on two of the corners and then it looks like one of the steams is like starting to peel away. So I don't know if like that's normal, if that's like user error, if, like I don't think by any means I'm being too hard on it. It literally just comes to me, comes with me to the bins and I don't like knock it around, you know, like I don't, I'm not like putting it through the ringer by any means. So if anybody else has any similar experience with their Hulkin bag, please let me know. I haven't reached out to the company yet, but I plan to and just ask them if this is like normal or if I have like a defective bag maybe. I don't really know. Anyways, <laughs> next. I got this, a Western Aloha button up. And look at the little pig logo. That's their logo. This is so cool. I love the pattern on it. So we'll see how that does. I've never had, I've never seen or purchased this brand before. Then I got this. This is a vintage, well, it's just the USA Olympic brand, Olympic t-shirt. The Olympics are coming, so hopefully this does well. The back is plain. Fortunately, there's no date on it, but that's okay. It's definitely a little bit older. Next, I got these. These are some really fun striped by Anthropology shorts, they are a size extra large. Something is telling me they might have come with a belt that like matched this fabric, but I did not find that, but they are like an elastic like pull on style, really cute. Also, my shirt is from the bins on Monday. This is a, fla a vintage flax shirt, the, that's, that's the brand flax. Uh, the back is plain. But it is a hemp and linen blend, I believe, and I really like it. I like all these, like, I don't know, all these lines, and then this side's, like, plain. I like that it's, like, a boxy fit, and I really like the color. So, this one's mine <laughs> for now. I got this. This, I don't know, this was giving me very, like, Mary Kay Ashley in the best way. You know, not their the row, but, like, their actual Mary Kay and Ashley, like, Y2K line, except it's a women's... Brand My Michelle, size medium. It's kind of sheer, it's not lined. 
the back is the same and it's just got these really pretty like what are they roses on it really cute little slip on above the knee skirt they got these these were also fun i really love this color they need to be steamed all of this stuff you're seeing it as it came from the bin so um some of it needs to be steamed some of it needs to be washed some of it needs to be stain treated etc etc these are some really pretty super wide leg with like a slit so these are like a resort wear pant i would say uh, and a tassel tie on the waist Elevenus pants by anthropology they're a size large super cute i would say you could probably wear them like really high-waisted or not and they could be like a cropped fit or a full length the back is plain super 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 cute I found these. These are very Y2K as well. Victoria's Secret linen pants. They are a size 10. Here's the tag. They're like a low rise, not a wide leg, but definitely not a slim leg either. So I feel like this is a good style and I like that they're a low rise actually. I feel like this is another good pair of resort wear pants. Next I got this. This surprised me because I would never have guessed in a million years that this dress was this certain brand so it's got this really pretty like stripes at the bottom and then this like i don't know what you want to call this camo maybe green prints like trees and there's the stripes at the bottom this is a piranha dress size large there's the logo on the back and i would guess this is also organic cotton let me see it has pockets oh they cut the Dang it, they cut the thing out, but maybe I'll be able to Google image this and find out a little more about it. But I just really like this one. I really like this skirt too. Here's the brand. I've never heard of this brand before. And it is a size medium. Look at this midi skirt. Actually, yeah, it's a midi skirt. So cute. It's got this really fun little lace trim. And then it's got these like vintage shoes and what are they, daisies all over it? I don't know, I really like that one. Super cute, super, super cute. This is cute too, but I can't really tell. I mean, it's intimately free people. So I would assume it's a sleepwear or a loungewear top, but I think you could wear this out if you, do, if you wanted to. It's like an oversized button up in this really pretty pink and cream and then navy colorway has a stripe down the side yeah that's cute yeah i feel like you could definitely wear this as like a daytime shirt oh and it is a size medium x is another free people top this is another oversized button up but it's regular free people and this is a size large Really pretty white and pink check. Like I said, nice oversize. Here's the back. Love free people. And I got this. This I love the colors on. Absolutely love this color combination. This dark red, the white, and then the neon pink. This is a J. Crew. I think this is collection, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe J. Crew collection just says collection. I'm not sure, but um, this is extra small and this is 100% merino wool little, little sweater vest, got a fuzzy on it, really great condition. Next I got these because I know like the Barbie wave is almost over but these were giving very Ken, they're Puma golf shorts, men's Puma golf shorts, there's the Puma logo right here and then I guess this is like their golf thingy. They are size 32, and I think they'll do well. I got this. This is a North Face jacket. I'm not sure if this is a rain jacket or what, but something very important to note when you're picking up jackets like this. So, obviously, there's no holes in it. That's number one. Number two, just as important as there being holes in it, is this, this inside liner is still intact. This, for those of you who don't know, 
will start peeling as it ages and gets dry or is washed a million times. All of this white stuff will start peeling away and it becomes like a giant mess and no one will buy a jacket that has the liner peeling away. In my opinion, allegedly, no one will buy a jacket that has the liner peeling away like that. So that's a really important thing to look for when you're looking at jackets like this. This one is a women's large and it's a really pretty like muted almost peach, neon peach. It's like a little washed out on the camera, but really pretty color. Next, I got some more packed. This is a, I think, I think all packed is organic cotton. Organic cotton hoodie size medium or small, size small. So it's a full zip hoodie and here is this logo since it looks different than all the other ones. It's like a giant logo on the inside. The back is plain. I don't know if I've mentioned before, at my local Whole Foods, I see packed sometimes and I, on occasion it will go on like super sale. And then if you use your Amazon Prime card, you get an extra deal or your Whole Foods card, you get an extra deal or whatever. So you might be able to find packed at the grocery store. I have purchased it for myself at the grocery store. I've never purchased it to resell, but I definitely have seen it. Next, I found this Lululemon long sleeve swiftly or whatever they call this shirt. Here is the logo and I don't know what size it is, unfortunately, but I like that it's like the little tonal secret logo. <laughs> and then we got, what is this? Oh, another packed thing. This is a hoodie with no zip and a kangaroo pocket, black. Here's the tag, it's a little different, size small. And we got this Patagonia full zip, or not full zip, quarter zip. Here's the tag, women's large. And this one's really soft. And I like the colors. Super cute. This is a fun one. I really like this one and I haven't looked up comps so it could be that comps are absolutely nothing but I got it strictly based on what it looked like and I think it's so cute. <laughs> Look, they're all beaded. All these little like this fish and the seahorse and this coral and it's so cute. So, so cute starfish this is like thread and then it's got a few beads and sequins and then this is a bunch of beads this is all beaded this is all beaded oh no it's not threads and beads really really cute i thought this is <clears throat> let me not choke on my hair this is sweater works it's a size large again i know nothing about the brand but i thought it was super cute another one i know nothing about the brand but i purchased it based on what it looked like Really cute, I thought. Handkerchief hem, fun printed midi skirt. Again, I know last week I talked about skirts don't sell that well for me, but that's okay. Here's the brand, Lola P, size medium. Something to check with, with vintage elastic is that it still has the elasticity. This does. The back is the same. I don't know, I just thought this was really cute and good for your Depop. Next, I got this, and this is a really awesome find. First of all, it's new with tags, so it's vintage, new, old stock. This is a Cherokee skirt. Here's the tag. It will focus. There we go. It's a size 10, and it's this really pretty, like, dusty blue corduroy skirt with these logo buttons up the front. It came with a belt. The back is plain. And it's a really nice midi skirt. I feel like you could wear it high waisted or not. Super duper cute. Oh, and there's the Cherokee logo right here. Then we got this Fall Raven. This is a woolly top. Here is the logo on the inside. Here's a logo on the sleeve. And something to be careful about with these is if they're shrunk. This one feels like it might be a tiny bit shrunk so I'm going to have to note that in the description like I feel like I could still put it on and it looks like a person size still but 
it might be slightly shrunken so I will just have to list it that way but I was not going to leave this at the bins. I had contemplated making this a two-part video but I think I'm just gonna try to get through all of it in one video so I hope you guys are enjoying this haul so far. I hope you have some snacks. I hope you are settled in and I need to keep watching because I still have probably more than half to go. Uh, next, I got this. This is a ultra soft, and I mean ultra soft poncho. Let me just put it on because that'll be the easiest way to show you. And I'll show you the brand first. Joy Folly. It is a one size fits all, I think. Yeah. And it is this really soft Aztec poncho. So, so pretty. I love the colors. It's got like fringe at the bottom. Really cute. And I couldn't leave that, obviously, with it being new with tags. Then we got this. <laughs> this is so cute. Uh, 18 months Nebraska Corn Huskers vintage little track jacket windbreaker. Here's the brand, it's officially licensed. So, so, so cute. Next, I got these. Some little cute white cut-off denim shorts by We The Free. They are a size 30. Super cute. Perfect for summer. Some more packed. These are like a ripstop jogger, almost it feels like. They are a size medium. And this really nice gray color. Nothing wrong with them. Super duper nice. And then these, at first I was like, oh man, Spanx, because Spanx have not been doing well for me, it's even the jeans. However, these are a flared style. So they have like a tiny bit of a flare to them. Not a super flare, but a little bit of a flare. They're not a skinny style, and I think these are gonna do really well. They are a size medium, really cute. And I got some Zaya joggers. These are like a mossy green color and they are a size small. Here's the tag. And there. And these just need to be washed. Next, I got this. I'm so glad that little voice inside my head when I was digging through the bin said, just put it in your bag and you can look at it later. You don't have to know right now if you need to get it or not. Just look it up later. So this is a Sinful hoodie. And for those of you who might not know, here is the brand Sinful. I don't know if it's a offshoot of Affliction or if it's just very, very similar to the brand Affliction. And these are all over the place from like, 40 to a hundred dollars people are selling them as like y2k and that's exactly how i'm going to sell this i hope i sell it to some cute little depop girl it's got some holes but i feel like that just literally adds to it like that's the elbow but i don't really care and i don't think anybody else will care either the other elbow has a matching so we'll see maybe i'm crazy and Totally off the mark on this one, but what size is this? It's a size large, so we shall see. Next, this is so fun, and I love the color on this. I wish it was a little bit smaller because this would be mine, but this is a really nice vintage Lacoste. And this is a brand I don't usually pick up because it doesn't do well, but look at that. It like matches my nails so per, I'm telling you, if this was my size or just a little bit smaller even, it would be mine. But this tag is so nice too. I don't know, this is just the nicest sweater, cardigan sweater, and it has no flaws, no nothing, really nice color. Then we got another Lululemon piece. This is just a tank top, again, with the tonal undercover little logo there. She just needs to be run through the wash. Nothing wrong with her. Don't know what size she is yet though. And I got this. I was going back and forth between getting this or not getting it. And I'm like, wait, whoop. Just dropped her on the floor. And I'm like, well, you don't have to wear this to a wedding because I think that's what these dresses are ma like made for. They're like 
bridesmaid dresses. This is a really pretty wrap maxi dress in this really nice color by Baltic Born. It's a size extra small and it is short sleeve. I feel like somebody will buy this even if they don't buy it to like wear at a wedding or in a wedding. Next, I got these Hudson jeans. These are a really nice pair of men's black denim jeans. They feel like they have a lot of stretch to them and they are the Byron Five Pocket Straight size 34. I haven't tried my luck with Hudson jeans in a while, especially men, so we will see how these do. These are very exciting and I wish I found more things like this, but Joa Brown, for those of you who don't know, this is definitely a major bolo brand. These are a size, what size are they? These are a size small and they are just this really nice pair of sweatpants, black sweatpants, lounge pants. No pockets, no nothing. Really nice. And I've only found this brand, I think, one other time, and it was at Plato's Closet. It was a hoodie, and I think it sold pretty fast. Next, what is this? Oh, this is a really nice Patagonia men's Capoline base layer, and it's vintage, made in USA. Just a black t-shirt, essentially, with no flaws. These, I picked these up because they are medium tall. They are the Silky Baby Bell by Lori Fleet. I know it's kind of like washed off, but there's the brand right there. And they are really long, super stretchy jean, like so long. So hopefully a tall girl knows this brand and buys these up. These are some cool pants, just some active outdoor athletic pants. They are a four regular, and there's the brand. Really nice nylon pants. And I got not one, but two pairs of this brand. This is my very first time trying this brand, Judy Blue. I've heard Gloria from Via Glow, if you don't know her, I'll put her... Um, channel in the link down in the links down below. I've never tried Judy Blue before, but I found four pairs of the same size and style. However, two of them had like the thighs were like blown out, and they liked them so much they tried to fix them. Like they put patches on them. And obviously, I left those two behind, but I got trash is here. Like I said, I got two pairs. They are both size 1130 and both the skinny fit. So I did intentionally pick up two pairs of skinny jeans. They look like they're about the same wash, if not maybe a different, slightly different blue. I can't really tell, but um, I'm excited to see how these do. Very excited. Next, this is also a very exciting find. This is a really nice knit merino wool turtleneck by icebreaker icebreaker is definitely a bolo brand if you don't know it there's the tag it just needs to be sweater shaved no holes no nothing this one is so fun and it like got chucked at me basically so they put at our bins they'll put two bins like back to back so you're digging in a bin and somebody across the way across a double bin is also digging in a new bin and like, I guess in the rush, somebody like threw this and it landed in my bin, like directly in front of me. And I was like, oh, why, why you didn't want that? Look at this. It's like a high neck, first of all, keep your neck and your ears warm. Super 80s color block fleece. And this thing is so soft. Like sometimes they're itchy and nasty and gross. But this thing is so soft. The elastic is still good in all the parts, and it's got this really nice big logo on the front. The back is plain but nice color block. Here's the logo. I've never heard of this brand before, and I think this is the brand here, and then this is a collab with this brand, if I'm not mistaken, and it's a size medium. So cool. I cannot wait to get this guy listed.
Next, I got this, Elaine Fisher. This is just a really nice, is this a dress? I think it's, I think it's a dress. A really nice silk dress or a shirt, whatever you want it to be. Size small. Got some Mountain Harbor pants. These are a women's 10. Here's the brand. They're capri length, which isn't my favorite, but that's okay. These are really nice outdoor pants. So this is a new to me brand, one that I was so excited to find because I was like, oh, this tag has to be something. Wit 2, it is a size small. So I believe this is how you wear it. Like obviously a little bit untied so it would sit about here but ties on the shoulders and then it's this like gigantic what is this baby doll type dress it's got some smocking at the back and it's these giant polka dots obviously she needs to be steamed because she came from the bins But I believe, based on my research, this is an anthropology brand, or at least a brand they sell at anthropology. So, very excited to see how she's going to do. I got this. One, I might set a thread up. Two, I might list it. Three, I wanted to show you guys just how many times a garment gets sold. Like, it's wild. Like. First of all, this is a really nice, just black Calvin Klein dress. So Calvin Klein made this dress. It did not sell for them. They sold it to TJ Maxx and someone bought it at TJ Maxx and then gave it to Goodwill. Nobody bought it at Goodwill for $29 because nobody's spending $29 on a dress at Goodwill. And then I bought it at the bins and now I'm going to sell it again. So it's just wild to me. I don't know why that was so crazy to me, but it's really nice. It's got this like, Really pretty piping down the front and in the back. It's pretty plain, but still really nice. I feel like this would just look really nice on someone. And this could be good for like a work work dress or maybe a cocktail dress. I don't know. Oh, it's a size four. Next, another brand that is sold at Anthropology. I'm not sure if it's exclusively at Anthropology, but I know that that Cory Lynn is sold at Anthropology. This is a really nice. I'm pretty sure it's silk by the feel. Dress with pockets. It's a size 12. Really pretty print all over it. I feel like you could wear this to work too if you wanted to. Or not. Really cute. Then I got this. This is a mod cloth blazer. It is a size medium and it has these really nice bird prints all over it. With mod cloth, I feel like I have much more luck with like the crazy printed things versus like anything else. So that is why I picked this. Then I got this. I just couldn't leave this behind. It's brand new Hot Topic with some anime collab. It is a, like a skirt overalls type deal and it's a size small. Like I said, I just couldn't leave it because it's brand new. This is very exciting. I love this sweater. It's so pretty, first of all. I love the, oh my God, I love the color. Oh my goodness gracious. I have not tried this on and I don't think I'm going to because I don't need it. I love the color. It's got flowers down the sleeves, on the arm, on the chest, all the way down the front. And this is by Raga. This is a brand I've never found before. So I was very excited to find it. The back is plain, so, so cute. This is another brand I've never found. And I literally picked it up thinking, okay, Play-Dohs will like something like this. But the back of it, like they had it like knotted somehow, I think to make it just tighter. They had it like knotted like this with a hair tie. And so the brand was like covered when I grabbed it. I unknotted it, saw the brand and I was like, okay, cool. Miss June, don't know what that is. Still give it to Play-Dohs. Well, I looked it up yesterday when I got home. These are like a couple hundred dollar dresses, especially depending on the one that you have. So no, Plato's is not getting this. This is so pretty. It's got like sequins at the bust. It's kind of sheer-ish, but it does have a liner. Really pretty. It's a size one, so I don't know if that's like, if they do vanity sizing or what, but really, really pretty. I love that. 
And I got this for Ralph Lauren, just a really pretty, here's the tag, what size is it? Small, really pretty floral button up and this like weighs nothing. Like it cost me like a dime, like I, I had to take this. And I got this, always love a good old Patagonia better sweater. This is a quarter zip and it is a medium. I would assume it's a men's. Really nice, back is plain. This is so pretty. Red and white lace floral maxi skirt. The elastic on this one is a little stretched, but it's still there. Where is it? And then also you can see right here where you could literally just cut it out and put new elastic in. This is Carefree Fashions, Scottsdale, Arizona. It is a, no size, but really cute. See how that does. I did not look this up either. Next, I got this. This I got because I was like, okay, it doesn't weigh anything. And it's gotta be something. It says a brand or someone's name on it twice. Frank Thomas is apparently the brand. And this is like a Moto brand. And I'm pretty sure this is a vintage nylon jacket if i'm not mistaken but when i look at this this doesn't scream vintage to me so i'll have to do some more research it's just size medium i lined really really lightweight just thought i'd take a chance on it they wanted ten dollars for it at the regular store this is so cute little packed hoodie for babies <laughs> this is 18 to 24 months so 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 cute this is exciting. I have tried to call Bessie Johnson back into my life. Um, let me think. A few years ago, I found a Bessie Johnson dress that was shaped similar to this, except the whole thing was black and it had red apples on it. It was a vintage Bessie Johnson and it was sought after. I probably let it go for a little less than I should have and I have been dying to find a vintage Betsy since then. This is a really cute lace dress. Front and back are the same, has a little slit. Like I said, this is not like vintage Betsy Johnson by any means, but here's the tag. Size six. Super duper cute. this skirt. The way I dug through this bin to try to find more of this stuff. This is J. Crew made of Liberty of London fabric and it's like this absolutely adorable little ruffle skirt with the tie details. It's got a tie over here and this is I think summer of last year. Let me see. Yeah. So it's super current. I think this is going to do really well. And let me show you the flowers if I didn't show you. Because it's just so pretty. So, so pretty. Like Lily times a million. So cute. Oh, and if I didn't tell you already, it's medium. Just a few more things, guys. We're getting there. Uh, next, this is a vit velvet anthropology dress. Little tank dress. Uh, I think it's just by Anthropology. Yes, it's by Anthropology and it's a size large. I'm loving finding all this Anthropology stuff that's not like a size too extra small. Like I love that it's a bigger size. I feel like that's gonna sell much better. Next, another vintage Lacoste piece. This one is the lightest weight jacket you'll ever feel. It's bright yellow, no stains, no flaws. And look how old this tag is. Alligator Lacoste. I don't even know when this one is from, but it's a size medium. Really cute windbreaker. And these black things are just like right here. They're key keepers that are inside this pocket. So that's not like something wrong with it. Next, I got this. I didn't look this up, but I loved how it looked. Laura Ashley, little girl's dress, size 6X. Absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. Then we got this, CP Shades. CP Shades is a brand that I used to get super excited to find, but nowadays it's kind of like, mm, 
Mm, okay. This is 100% linen though. It's a size medium and it's a really cute chocolate little, I don't know, granola girl vest maybe? Academia vest? I don't know. Maybe this gives me more granola girl than academia. Very cute. This is so cool. And Jack was like, oh, it looks like JPG. And I was like, yes, it does. It so does. First of all, it's got like a mock neck. It's sleeveless. And it's like this like liquidy material. I feel like this will look so cool on. Maybe I'll have to try it on so we can get the better effect. But this is a really cute tank top. And I think somebody's going to love it. Here's the brand. I don't know this brand. And it is a size large. Super duper cool. Very like slinky fabric. Next, how about this? This is a vintage Val mode. I don't know what you call this nightgown, overdress, dressing robe. The whole thing is sheer, but it's like double lined. So it's got like two sheer panels. And then it's got this really cute pink trim and then a tiny little rosette at the hook and eye detail. And like I said, it's Val mode. Let me show you the tag. And I picked this up because it one weighs nothing and two is 100% nylon and three had this tag on it still. I feel like with a vintage lingerie, a brand is important and the fact that it's nylon is important. So we'll see how this does. And then last but not least, we got this. This is another denim trench coat, except this one is much lighter weight. I feel like anyone could wear this. You could uncuff the sleeves so the sleeves could be longer. Let me see. Yeah, this is like the perfect lived in denim to it. Super soft. And it's got big pockets. I don't know if you can tell. Big buttons, I think. Too. Yeah, two buttons. And it does have a brand the brand and it is a size medium and the back is plain but I thought this was a really let me just try it on so we can get the better effect Ew. that's cute she is cute yeah cute so that's it for this haul you guys if you stuck around and watched this as I'm filming it, it is 49 minutes. So we will see how long it is after I end up cutting some stuff out. If you want to let me know in the comments below which item I thrifted was your favorite. And if you watched this video, I so appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind just hitting like on your way out, that would be awesome. See you next time, friends. Bye.